Right, so uh, just a quick update. I heard back from Steel Timber Sports and uh, I've been selected, which is pretty exciting. So uh, hopefully be competing soon and I've got a few training camps to go to, but uh, it's a great opportunity to learn and improve my technique. Anyway, I've uh, kind of hit the limit with collecting axes and um, I don't want to buy any more. Uh, I've got about 35 now. Um, and I don't really see the point in owning any more. I've pretty much tested everything there is out there that's different. Um, I've tested quite a lot of the old ones that are unavailable now. And uh, overall I'd say I've been for about probably 50, nearly 60 axes I'd say, um, trying them out. This is the last one I bought and it's a tiny Rinaldi Tomahawk. I sold my um, cold steel trailhawk and bought this instead. It's only 500 grams total, so it's actually somewhat lighter than a lot of these big knives out there. And you know, people like for survival knives and that kind of crap. So it'll be an interesting tool. The size comparison, uh, you can see this is the American Boys Axe, which is one of my favourite, um, you know, lightweight axes. I think it's the most capable for the weight. And it's about a kilo so this is half the weight and uh, about half the edge length as well again for size comparison he's a, a full-sized four pounder so it is ridiculously small now this is really hard dead fur I don't see the point in doing chopping tests um, for survival tools or whatever in green wood because you're not going to be burning green wood so there's no point cutting it unless you're shelter building or whatever but if you're shelter building you don't need to cut big stuff So obviously I'm going to need to test it more. I've been using it a little bit today and uh, you know it's a very very small axe and it is 
fairly limited to what it can do. The concept of a belt axe um, comes around from like uh, pioneers and hunters and stuff where you don't want something like this or larger because it's kind of awkward to carry around on your person whereas this is you know it's not uh, difficult to carry it fits in the belt nicely and if you're just doing small tasks like uh, cutting the odd log or the odd branch and splitting a bit of kindling it doesn't get in the way but, uh, I'm fairly impressed with this and uh, I will say it chops a lot better than any uh, big knife the trouble with a big knife is you have a lot of surface area on the blade coming in contact so the weight and the power you've got in that cut is distributed all the way across the log which means you don't get enough penetration to actually start pulling out chips but this even though it's a very light head because it's half the diameter it's still got half the energy delivered sorry um, the same amount of energy delivered per inch of blade or whatever so it's still fairly capable and you've just got to overlap your cuts the advantage over a knife I think this has is the uh, the balance of a knife you know the balance point is kind of like this where it's uh, somewhere around here so when you're chopping out here it's not really got much effect happening whereas this is much more like a hammer because the balance point is doing work for you so again that's an advantage also for carving with a knife you know the, if you've got a long knife the tips out here and you're, you've got zero leverage whereas with a, a an axe like this you can get your hand right up behind the blade and it's actually much more effective for carving so in the future I've got a planned um, video where I'm going to compare some survival tools you could say so um, a big knife uh, a shovel which is a a bit of a wild card um, some people like them for some reason but uh, a folding saw and uh, the sax and maybe something else I might think of that's commonly carried but uh, currently I believe this is the, the best option and uh, you know it's handy it's not too difficult to carry it has decent capabilities it's easily repaired in the field um, you can split wood with it fairly effectively due to the wedge shape and uh, there's no reason why you can't uh, beat it and use it as a wedge and uh, overall I believe this has the best comfort a lot of these big knives are basically a big like quarter inch slab of steel and you see these guys hammering away at logs and after about 30 seconds they're complaining about how ha sore their hands are and nobody wonder this is a beautifully thin handle with uh, a good amount of flexibility in it so you can use this a long time without uh, getting sore hands so anyway um, I'm very impressed with this tool so far I'm not suggesting it's a replacement for a proper uh, a proper axe you know if you're planning on cutting a lot of firewood there's no question which one you're going to take but the idea behind this is uh, you're kind of not sure what you're going to do when you're outside you might need a fire you might not or you know you might need a cutting tool with a bit of oomph so you can take this along and if you don't need it it's fine you know it's not adding much weight it's 500 grams you know it's, n it's not like a taking this which is a kilo and it's it's not weighing you down or getting in your way but if you do need it it can get a bit of work done